Life AI is an artificial intelligence system. This is a demonstration of Life AI applied to a robot named Cosmo. Cosmo already has some image recognition and behavior features built into it. However, for this demonstration, we're going to completely replace that with Life AI. Cosmo comes with some cubes that it can interact with. We're going to be replacing the symbols on those cubes with some simpler ones that are easier for Life AI to detect. We will be connecting to Cosmo through Wi-Fi on a computer and then running both a Python program, which will be communicating to Cosmo, as well as a C++ program, which is where Life AI is running. Let's get it started. As you can see, we have a couple buttons in our Python program which will request information about the various concepts that Cosmo is aware of. So we can click on them and we can get some information about their current property levels, position, height, and so forth. Cosmo is observing its surroundings through the camera and we're going to place a cube in front of it so that it can see that cube and it is accurately detecting it as cube one, which is the cube that Cosmo wants to follow. That information is being relayed to the Life AI program, and Cosmo is now making the decision to move forward to get closer to that cube. We can enter and send messages to Cosmo to communicate information such as our happiness level, or we could ask questions, or we could ask for other information. There's a messaging system built into Life AI that pieces apart the sentences that you type in and tries to make sense of them and tries to give an appropriate response. If we click on save, it will save all of the information that Life AI has encountered so far with this program. It will save all of the settings, all of the concepts, and all of the records for those concepts. What's nice is that they're saved in human readable comma separated value files, so you can open them up in pretty much any spreadsheet program and you can take a look. In this example, if we go to cube 1 or cube 2, we can see all of the records of when it detected the position for that cube. And now we're going to end the program. Let's take a look at the code behind this. This is the Life AI C++ code that I created for Cosmo. As you can see, we're starting by creating Cosmo's properties of particular interest are energy and happiness because we want to track Cosmo's energy level and the happiness of the person Cosmo is talking to. Then you can see that we created the actual Cosmo mind, followed by the concepts of cube one cube 2, and the person that Cosmo is speaking with. Then we have it so that there are a couple visuals that are loaded into Cosmo for the cube 1 and the cube 2 concept. So those are the two symbols that are on the cubes, just an image of them. And then we're adding some motivations for Cosmo. These are goals that Cosmo wants to achieve. For example, in this ideal right here. Cosmo wants to be near cube one, 
the Cosmo wants to be far away from cube 2. Cosmo does value its own energy level, and it values the happiness of the person that it's speaking with. Then we created some possible actions for Cosmo to perform. Moving forward, backward, turning right, turning left, questing, help with being placed on the charger, comforting or complimenting the person that Cosmo is speaking with to help increase their happiness. For each action, we created requirements. For example, Cosmo should not be able to move forward if the detect cliff sensor is enabled and is detecting that it's on the edge of something. And then we define what the actions are going to actually do for Cosmo. So we're explaining that moving forward is going to increase Cosmo's position in a particular direction. Turning left or right is going to adjust Cosmo's angle. And comforting and complimenting the person will increase the person's happiness level. Now, the only way for Cosmo to know the person's happiness level is for Cosmo to be able to communicate with the person and translate that to some level of happiness. So I created categories of possible responses that the person could give to Cosmo to explain how they're feeling. So excellent would mean a high level of happiness for the person. And if you follow it down, uh, we get to very unhappy, a very low level of happiness for the person. That way you can communicate these categories to Cosmo naturally. And we finally get down to the main loop of the program in Life AI, which is the update loop. So when the update occurs, it has a timer for each section of it where it's going through and it's collecting new messages, uh, looking for new images to be fed in, putting out new messages, displaying the image, updating the plan of Cosmo, and it's doing all of these in certain, after certain timers are completed. Now on the Python side of things, we're basically communicating back and forth to Cosmo. I'm using a program called PyCosmo that can communicate to Cosmo over Wi-Fi to give Cosmo instructions and to get sensor readings from Cosmo and the, the images from Cosmo's camera. That's the primary purpose of this program is to send information to Cosmo and to, to get information back. The Life AI C++ program is making the decisions and it sends the resultant actions back to the Python program. Thank you for watching this demonstration. If you'd like to find out more about LifeAI, please go to lifeai.com. You'll find the source code for LifeAI itself, as well as other examples and projects. Thanks.